Amazing audience. So we are live with Alisola Akindale. My yes. apologies. Yes. There we go. It is a bit of a tongue twister, isn't is it? it? <laughs> <laughs> Alisola Akindale. Oh, oh you should hear the real pronunciation me, I was of my like name. Going to ask yeah, you it's that. Adeshola Akindale. That's how I would say it. Adeshola Akindale. Yeah, exactly. Can you see why? I mean, I've even made it simpler. Yeah. And, you know, by adapting it to, you know, where I grew up, you know, in England and then. It's still not easy for anyone. Obviously, when you see something different, it looks it's yeah. like, okay, first of all, you're already freaked out. And then I'm like, okay, just it's as you see it, the syllables, just like Spanish, it's the yeah. same thing, just as you see it. But that right. isn't a, a UK <laughs> name, right? That no, it's not. It's not a British name. No, yeah. no. Um, my parents are Nigerian. You know, um, I was born in England, spent some time of my life there. Even after finishing uni in England, I went back to um, Nigeria to work for a few years oh. and then you know and then I became a mom and I went back to England you know because mm. I felt more comfortable there as a mom obviously and starting my career there as well now you are in I'm in the Diego. US yes yeah. yes and family again brought me here my mom um, she married a uh, um, a Nigerian American and then you know about 11 years ago mm. and um, you know some things happened to me about four years ago and then she you know I just made the decision to come here and start some healing and then start again, start my life again. Mm, that's good. Mm. So which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this time? Oh, well, actually, it was I was at an event on Wednesday. Um, I was speaking mm. at an event called um, Fuck Up Nights. Oh, big word. <laughs> and, yeah, and it was about, um, you know, telling your stories about failure. And it was quite interesting because it was exactly four years ago that I went through that uh, experience and it was a full circle moment. So it so happens that Eric was there and um, he said, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> the, uh, either on Friday or on Saturday. And I'm like, oh, let me check my calendar. And then Friday, you know, this time was open and I just went on your website immediately, picked an interview time. Yeah. And then here we are. That's amazing. Yeah. So you are the person who is expressing your emotions. Is mm. that accurate? Yes, it was. You know, it's, it's, it's not just about the experience. It's about sharing the pain. Mm. I mean, I, I said to the mm. audience that the fact that I could talk about something like that without welling up or feeling that tightness or stress anymore. That's 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 big for me. Mm. It was a, as I said, full circle moment. Yeah. Who did you learn that from? That ability to express your feelings on that level. Hmm. That's a that's a good question. It's based on different things. How I grew up, um, the type of um, spiritual upbringing we had, uh, as well as in the last year working with a life coach. Um, being African, one is used to suppressing your emotions all the time um, and then always in the spot where you have to do things a certain way to appease family and society. And I had moved away from that, but in doing that as briskly as I did when I was really young, it left a hole. Mm. Um, so I took, I took those bad habits with me, along with me. So it took me really focusing on my emotional well-being mm. to really... Um, get to this place. This is a lot of work. I, like yeah. I said to my audience on Wednesday that this is a lot of work. Mm. This is being becoming self-aware, um, working on my emotional intelligence, social awareness, you know, relationship management, you know, and all these things that make me become me, you know, mm. like it's, 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 I got tired of looking in the mirror and then the person I was seeing is in who was inside. Mm. So I had to bring the real person out and that's a lot of work, yeah. you know. Do you have any regrets? Uh, under the process that it was necessary for you to be who you are today? Oh no, yeah. absolutely none. You can't have regrets. Every experience is, is a teacher. Mm -hmm. That's how I was brought up. Um, you have to learn. If you don't learn, the same thing will come again, even worse mm -hmm. and harder. The lesson yeah. will come harder. That's beautiful. You know. So what, what do you do for business? Oh, okay. Well, I own a media company mm -hmm. and I also have a, you know, a mentoring academy. And um, I always call my businesses journeys now. You know, um, more media was a journey. Uh, basically, it's an evolution of my former business that I that I uh, lost in England. And by BBX Academy is basically the trans. You know, is a transcension of what I really love doing, my passion, which is mentoring people, helping people. And currently now we are doing this series called um, Hash HTMAM and it's called How to Make a Million because that's my personal journey. And I decided to put it into the academy because the systems I was using seemed to be working. Yeah. <laughs> so I decided to go on this five-year journey to make a million by the time I was 40. And, um, you know, 
I just said, you know what, something about me, when I learn something good, I share it with the world. And I decided to do that mm. through the academy. So that's where I am right now. How can we find out more about that? Oh, I have a podcast, actually. Right. Um, it's called Hash HTMAM with... Podcaster family. Yeah, you go. <laughs> family podcaster. <laughs> yeah, we go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, it's funny. I was... I, like my previous company, I used to create corporate videos, but I never was like being from the camera. So I had to find a platform, yeah. you know, and I like to speak. I, I can do like, you know, public speaking. In fact, that Wednesday was the first time I had done that in four years. So it was Whoa. big. Yeah. And I did. I think I did well. You I did, I did well. well. Yeah. Don't pull it up. Yeah. yeah so, I mean, Eric was definitely touched. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So the podcast was the perfect thing for me. It was so weird. I just got this thing on Instagram about like anchor, anchor.fm. Right. And I just went on it and I said, this is what I need to do. Yeah. You wouldn't believe like that same night I recorded my first podcast. It's easy now. And then I was like, bam, yeah. I just put it out there. That's good. You know, with video, you have to plan things. Yeah. You know, I, I've been there. I've seen what it's like at the back end. And so it's like, oh. I don't have all these tools but you know there's something I said to myself and I said you know what anything I'm going to do now I'm going to make sure I use the tools I have right now I get it done. you know yes I'm not going to do what I did before where it's oh I have to have this mm. to do this no mm. or else I would never do nothing and that's exactly what happened yeah. so I decided that you know what the minute I got that that was a sign for me and I just took it and I just went with it I love that what's one other thing you've done consistently over the last three years consistently is work on myself what does that you make know? you feel oh I feel great I feel balanced, I feel peace, um, and I've never felt this good in my life before. I'm only 36, mm. and I'm very grateful because I get people who are way older than me, you know, that I mentor, you know, to help start their business or improve their business, and there's so much regret. I'm so grateful okay. that I got this opportunity to really f have time to focus on myself. Yeah. You need time to heal. If you've got some kind of trauma going on in your life, and there could be several, you need time to heal. Yeah, I love how you're going uh, in and out of your accent. Like, yes, <laughs> Thank you. It's like when you go deep, yeah. you go into Nigeria. <laughs> Nigerian accent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you see me with my daughter, when I'm like, we're in a discipline time, man. Yeah. So that, you know, my Nigerian side comes out. It's really yeah, funny. It's I can imagine. <laughs> oh, so man. I'm, I'm thinking like a coaching <laughs> session. Yeah, I can see like, no, 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 no. no. And you go into your accent. You don't tell me that you're not yeah. good enough. You are yeah. good enough. Yeah, oh, yes, yeah, yes, I yes. That. Yes. That's great. Well, let's yeah, switch gears. Let's switch gears. Man, you know when you're going deep, your roots come out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, man, you know, like I can hear, hear my grandmother talking when I'm saying some things. Like that wisdom yeah. really comes out. Yeah. You know, that's Sweet me. Words. Yes, oh. it's who I am. That's me. Let's switch gears for a moment. Let me now invite you into my time machine okay. that yes. is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Oh, yes. What is your earliest childhood memory? My earliest childhood memory is of me. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, so where we go worship on Sunday is called Grail End. We are what we call members of the Grail movement. Um, I'm a cross bearer. And it was a Sunday, and I was climbing a tree mm. in my Sunday clothes, you know. And I just remember this feeling of freedom. Mm -hmm. Because I knew my parents were not, were not seeing what I was doing, and I was doing what I wanted to do at such a young age mm. on that Sunday. So you have time between when the parents are worshiping and when we have... Uh, children's classes after the parents worship is a system that we have mm -hmm. and it was that's just like my earliest memory how old were you oh i must have been six or mm -hmm. seven so why do you think that memory is so clear i was where i love being the most nature mm -hmm. you know i was in a peaceful place you know um, i just could feel like the energy the elemental energy around you know, and then I was me. Mm. I think the reason why I remember that the most is that's probably the last time I felt like me. Mm. You know, until I started working on myself again to get back to that girl. So how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today? Oh, now I can climb a tree. <laughs> 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 I don't care what anyone says, whether I'm wearing a dress or whatever, what anyone can see up my skirt. Yeah. yeah, I'm climbing that tree, you know, that, that's... <laughs> You know, my parents are here now, I have a voice now, I'm an adult now, I'm a mom now, and I'm reflecting what I wish I had, um, the best of what I wish I had, and it doesn't, it's not monetary at all, yeah. you know, it's, it's all these life lessons, and I'm now passing on to my daughter to help her, you know, in her own journey, she's going to have her own journey, just like I did. Yeah. Kind of an interpretation to the thought picture, yes. because in my mind, I love the idea of 
you being a conqueror of the, the, the journey yeah. in that the tree in itself represents a journey it's like, like this that. image mm -hmm. of a journey that mm -hmm. you could see you could see well not the roots mm -hmm. but you can definitely see the value of the roots mm -hmm. and that's in like the nigerian that mm -hmm. you go into mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yes. oh yes oh yes you can see the branches mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you can see the seasons mm -hmm. the times of down the times of up but mm -hmm. to see you uh, really owning that journey oh, yes. and standing on top of that and deciding to climb which is a continuous journey i love that imagery thank you yeah, thank you for seeing it that way yeah, that's really nice thank yeah. you if we fast forward it to when you were 12 years old what was your favorite song <laughs> oh lord where was i <laughs> it, i'm a 90s girl man so yeah. you know it, oh, there were so many i love i love music yeah. there were so many what, oh gosh what could i call my favorite song in my 90s i'm weird i used to listen to all these songs like right. you know the song that comes through every time it's this earth wind and fire yeah you know um, oh, I don't know the name of the song, but I can sing it for you. Sure. Let's groove tonight. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Let's get this party right. <laughs> Every time. I don't know why. Like It's weird. That's like my go-to song. It's, yeah. it's just like Earth, Wind & Fire. And then, it. you know, like when they go into Let the Groove. Yeah. Get, you know, and it's like, oh, yeah. That, that. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's easy. It's like, you know, that. And, um, you know, there's nothing like the old songs. You know, I, I love 80s music too as well. I, the only side I appreciate it when I got access to it directly myself as opposed to just combing through my mom's collection yeah. um, to pick up things. Power ballads are big for me. Like, you know, it's, I'm a very mood-led person. So, yeah. like, I'm like, today I'm a blue girl, tomorrow I'm yellow. Or music, I'll be like, okay, I'm doing 90s today. Okay, so today I'm doing EDM. <laughs> or tomorrow I'm doing grunge or whatever. But, you know, it, it changes. But there's some songs that just stick um, Michael Jackson was big for me. Um, Man in the Mirror. Yeah. I never got what he was saying. And then the day I did, yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah. It's funny you said that too, right? Like you, you said, you know, you're the person you were looking at, mm -hmm. not the person you knew. Yes. Yeah, that's yes. super good. All right, yeah. well, we've arrived at our destination, but before we get off of this time mm -hmm. machine, there's a small declaration for Oh, my. Oh, yes. Yes or no, we're going to move pretty quickly here. Are you ready? Yes, of course. Have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? Yeah, I'm doing it already. Are you married? Uh, divorced. Do you have children? Yes. Do you believe in God? Of course. Do you have an inner circle of friends? Yes, I do. I've built that in the last three years. Yes. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? No. How about three hours a week? Yes. What about screen time, the phone and or the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a it's day? It's more than what I would like. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, what would you say that is? Love. I love it. Yeah. Say, this is a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? Um, well, yeah. If you, if you like what you've heard and want to get to know me more, I have a website. It's exactlymyname.com. You know, um, my podcast is growing. Series 2 is coming out on September 3rd. I would like you guys to check it out um, and then see how you feel about it. It's to help everyone. It's not just about me. My journey has come to so many places and I just want to, whatever it is I've experienced can help someone else. That's a big thing. That's a ripple effect and that's all I'm interested in. I love it. Adesola Akindale, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. Did you have fun? I did. Good job. Nice. Oh, 